Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share with you a simple way to uh, color with brush -o. So this technique, it's not that messy like the one I share in the past, so let's get started. I like to use brush -o on watercolor paper. This size measure 378 by 5 and 1 8. And for all the measurement also, it's going to be on my blog. Above in the eye, you can click. It's going to bring you right there or below. Now for the brush, I'm going to start with uh, my aqua painter that if you're not familiar with that, you just put the water in this, close that, and you get an aqua painter that you just squeeze the water come here. Let's put the scrap paper under. And the first thing we want to do though is stamp our three. Let's do this first. Almost forget that. I'm using archival black ink because this is um, going to be watercolor on top. And we're going to need the heat tool to heat set that. So let me plug this in. Because the card will take a bit to dry. Make sure this is in very well here. Usually I like to do it on scrap paper first. Here we go. Make sure I get a good impression because it's watercolor paper. You want to give a good impression. Et voila! And I could have had even a little bit darker in the center there. Let me match this up here. That is what it's nice about photopolymer. You can match it back. Much better. Darker. I want it darker. Now let me close this. And i just going to set that up a little bit with the heat tool. Just because... Um, it takes a bit of time to dry archival ink. When your paper want to curl, go in the back. That's going to stop the curl. Here we go. Now, let's start by, I'm going to, we're going to use the blue. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Precision blue. I call it the blue, okay? And we're going to use a little bit of um, this one here. It's the mossy green and it gets some blue also in it. And we're going to use um, the yellow. That's the three color we're going to use today. So I'm going to start, make sure my brush is wet. See now the water is coming out. I'm going to put this at the top here where I want the blue. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of the blue. And the blue, it's very, uh, it go um, quick. Let's put it that way. So just a little bit, and then I'm going to color it. So it's no right and wrong. It's a lot like watercolor. Put it that way. Um, when you color with brush, it's a lot with watercolor. It's just little crystal. And I'm going to stop that about here. So now, I want more blue, but not in there. This is just a clear envelope. I'm going to put a little bit of blue there. Uh, you can use a Tupperware lid or whatever. I had an old envelope. I'm like, well, that's going to be good. See, I just keep on adding where I want it. Now we're going to do the three. A bit too much there. It's a lot like watercolor. Trust me, it's just a different um, look to it. Put it that way. Now, oops, that's too much. When that happens, don't be afraid to take a rag and dab it off. And now I'm going to squeeze the water there so I don't have no more blue and remove some. Here we go. Now we're going to leave that there. Now for the three, I'm going to wet this here. I'm going to put um, some of the green in it. But then I'm going to put some of the green over here also because it gets some yellow in it. 
I'm going to keep my blue there and mix all that in because yellow and blue make very lovely green. So I want it more green, so that's why I'm doing that. Now just tap that in. You see, I don't color. I tab, tab. And like you can tell, this uh, tree is going to be very much more greener than the other one that I did. I'm going to compare them in a bit here. So it's just say it doesn't matter how many you're going to do because you don't have to control how many crystal of one color and so on. That uh, And plus I mix more blue too, I think, in this one. So um, that's going to make a big difference. And I'm going to leave the, the tree like this one. The other one, it's more like a fall tree. And this one, it's more like a summer tree. I'm going to put a little bit more at the top there so it's more a poofy tree. And so now for the grass at the bottom, I'm going to use the same. Let's put a little bit more. Uh, oops, I didn't even use yellow. The other one, I did use yellow with my blue, but it seemed this time I had more yellow in this. So I'm just going to squeeze more water here, get a nice green over here. Now I'm going to do my grass. I'm just going to go sideways my stroke. You see I turn my paper sideways. And don't be afraid that you get those lines because really the grass, that's what it is. You want some line. The other one, I get it almost too much equally. Here we go. That sounds even better than my first one. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow here. I had a blue crystal there. So now I'm going to squeeze this. See, get my green out of my brush. And I need a little bit of blue that I don't have enough uh, right here. Well, let's make sure I don't have too much on my brush neither because I don't want that too dark. I'm just going in between where I get, like you see through the sky, I want to put a bit of blue there. See how simple this was? Very, very simple to color with that. So now let me remove this before I make a mess. Now to speed up the process on this one, I'm going to uh, use the heat tool. And I'm going to eat this, especially in the bottom. Just because I want to put my grating. And as it dries too, it's going to be a little bit uh, lighter. If you're wondering why I put back and forth my paper, if you dry your watercolor paper back and forth, it's going to keep it a lot more flat. Also, let me show you a little tip here. Let me shut this. Well, Oh, I didn't want to close. Another thing you can do is take your spritz bottle with water in it, just spritz very lightly in the back, and now dry that in the back. That's going to really stop the curling of your paper. So now, and I'm going to let it dry a little bit more. My button just want to get stuck here. Let me. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I get a glue dot stuck in there. That wouldn't surprise me. Now, um, I got from the uh, card kit. Um, so happy. It's right at the beginning of the catalog. I'm going to have that in my uh, notes on my... Um, let me show you. It is on page, I want to see page 11. Let's check that out. It is on page 11. Soft saying card kit. This stamp set I use a lot. I just love this just a note. So that's the, the one that I'm using. And we will, I didn't bring another stamp set. So just going to put that right there. And I'm going to use all olive. And I'm going to put that right here. Et voila! Very, very simple. Um, simple but nice, right? So now I just have to mount that. Okay, 
again that camera it's something going on with my camera that cut off at a certain time what I was saying we just have to mount this so let's I want to wait till it's a little bit more dry and we're going to mount that on an old olive that measure four by five and a quarter put that on this and then it's going to be on a white whisper white that measure eight and a half by um, four and a quarter going to fold this in half I would score it usually and then it's going to go right at the top voila did I say the green that measure four by five and a quarter and voila the two of them so you see I use the same thing this three look very bigger than this one it's just that I put more on the outside this one I kept it closer to, uh, by the branch this one I had more yellow so it's more a fall card so same product well I didn't use the yellow in this one just the moss and the blue that I use for this one but very simple uh, quick and easy um, brush of color again visit my blog just below or above it's going to bring you right to this blog post and you will see um, get all the supplies list and measurement thank you so much for watching till next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now